Hey guys and welcome to Waters of Scale. So today I want to talk about a pretty unique keyword research tool that you can use for free, although it is a paid tool. And I think you have like 10 monthly searches uh, on a free plan, which isn't much by any means. But this tool offers something that uh, no other tool is offering, at least not the free ones. So the tool in question is keywords people use. And as you can see on the homepage, you have uh, a plethora of choices. Uh, starting with the Contact Explorer, because that's what I picked by accident and I liked it. So the way it works, you choose your seed keyword, which you can use with um, all of these features here. So let's just say our seed keyword is uh, one arm push-up. And then if we go to the Contact Explorer, it will take the results from the top SERPs. And you can set your country in question and your language. So as you can see, unfortunately, this doesn't name the actual websites. But what it does, it tells you what each of the websites uh, is talking about regarding the seed keyword. So this one is called the how to master the one arm push-ups, benefits, how to tips, how to do one arm push-up. This is more like it. Steps, videos, worryings. But what I like the most is that you can click on the, you can exit the map uh, visual by clicking on the article outline. So as you can see, I've reached my maximum number of searches, but I've turned on the VPN. So let's see if this fixes anything. So it seems like you can bypass the daily limits with the VPN. So here, basically, this is giving us a very robust, very detailed outline based on the SERPs. So let's read through introduction, definition of the one arm push up, importance, benefits, step by step guide, variations, training and precautions, progression program, frequently asked questions, and conclusions. So this is a pretty good outline. You can choose the related searches, which is the people also ask, and reading, reading and quarter. So you can easily add this to your article. So I tried this, then I tried Reddit and Quora once again. So this will uh, look at Reddit, uh, Reddit and Quora. And so let's use the data tab. So as you can see, these are the questions that have been asked on Reddit regarding the seed keywords, and these are being asked on Quora. And uh, as per usual, Reddit and Quora keywords are low competition that are pretty easy to beat. And you can actually, if you're signed up, you can immediately generate your answer uh, based on this question here, but you can just use it as is. So use with Claude or ChatGPT or whatever. So this is very handy. Uh, then let's look at the uh, people also ask. And again, you get a topical map with uh, different relationships within the keywords, but I like the topic clusters so if you click on topic clusters, it will do just that. It will cluster all the keywords. So the first cluster is called effectiveness of the one arm push-up. And then you have you, the likes of our one arm push-up effective, will one arm push-up build muscle? What happens if you do one arm push-up every day? Then you have the questions related to frequency and quantity. Then uh, regarding the triceps, uh, difficulty and variations and comparisons. Like, what are the advantages? Uh, can you get a big chest? Uh, what is the secret to push-ups? So this is pretty good. Let's uh, continue discovering different applications. What about Google Autocomplete? This should be pretty straightforward. So this is a lovely map, reminiscent of um, Answer the Public. Let's look at the topic clusters once again. Okay, we got a slightly different clusters here and more questions under each cluster. So technique, benefits, difficulty, number, and miscellaneous. Okay, uh, what about keyword generator? This should, in theory, generate long tail keywords. Okay, so one arm push up muscles worked, progressions. Form, Reddit, bench press ratio. This is actually, this one is pretty interesting. One arm push up to bench press ratio. You can even do a calculator using code interpreter. One arm push up 
and this is uh, the autocomplete working A, B, C. Okay, nice. And finally, you have the AI assistant. So, for, based on these uh, seed keywords, you can uh, write an R scope with an FAQ. You can create a content brief. You can create a custom silo structure. So, let's use the silo structure first. So if you your website was around one hour push-ups, so if you wanted to be that niche down, this would help you create that silo. Homepage, introduction benefits, training, variations, muscles worked, common challenges, tips and techniques, equipment. But obviously we would like to use something else like home exercises for Overweight. Let's try that instead. Oh, this is more like it. So, section one types of home exercises, subsections, cardiovascular, strength, training, flexibility, workout plans, section three tips for success, safety precautions, motivation, section four FAQs, section five success stories. Okay, good. And so maybe, just maybe, let's try and write an, an actual article. One arm push up. I don't think it will be anything magnificent, but still. Okay, let's read through this. The ultimate guide to mastering the one arm push up. Test of strength, proper form, progressions, benefits, common mistakes to avoid. Okay, so not too bad. Maybe not a standalone self sufficient article, but a pretty nice draft. And yeah, so this is a pretty unique keyword research tool. So if you have your seed keywords uh, in mind, just go and exhaust those 10 searches that you have or whatever. Uh, you can upgrade. I haven't because I'm still playing around with the tool, but I think it is one of the, the more interesting autocomplete slash keyword research tools that are not widely talked about. So hopefully this video is helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.